this allows you to really begin to begin to think in terms of a different mindset. In a sense, you have a fluid motion, time, volume sense to work in. Well, the work that I'm doing, I'm working with planes in space where I'm delineating the space. And it's here it's easy to take a piece of foam core, put it in different positions, and pop off a series of holograms. And I've had a model moving in a series of different positions where I've, I've shot a series of holograms in progression of different angles, different positions as this moves and travels along. In a sense, what I'm doing, or what I do, is I build a vocabulary. I build a vocabulary of a variety of different scenes, different backgrounds, different planes in space, different fi figures in motion. I can then come back and compose and overlay these things. In a sense, I'm overlaying time and space. This is the Machen piece. Yeah, essence of 16 year old. It's this space that I, I particularly liked. Is the arms up here, and then it blends to this space, and then it comes around here. So what, what I've described is this space here. In a sense, I saw that as a triangle form. And what they describe is a space, a form in the middle here. And it's that space in the middle that's d delineated by the two-dimensional form. So the two-dimensional form speaks about the surface and the space behind it that's created by the hologram that's only experienced through your time of your perception. So this is a temporal experience of this. And again, I like this piece because this has got color mixing. This is a two-step rainbow hologram. And so the colors are blending and mixing in here. This piece is called uh, Two Sisters. And it was really, it's two sisters. And uh, this hologram is a one-to-one -one size rainbow hologram, but this is a double rainbow hologram. It, basically, this is a two-dimensional element, and this two-dimensional element is doing two things. It's talking about an identification of this space, and it's that space behind there that, that I want to draw attention to and to be aware of. It also happens to be that those two colors that are in that square talk about the two rainbow colors. One of the rainbows has, has its color registered higher and one registered lower. And so this piece, that's a registration both in space as a two-dimensional form and in color mixing for the color mixing aspect of this hologram. This piece, this piece is part of the, the series again, which is, it's the German figurative pieces, the German figurative work. This piece is actually, there are four, three channels in the master. And it is also a rainbow hologram. It is kind of a complicated rainbow hologram because these registration marks mark this area right here. And what I was interested in is a form that is created by the three imaging images blended together. What I like about this is the temporal aspect of this thing is, is that you can move right or left and the piece changes as you interact with it. And actually what happens here is you can actually begin to see the different sections of this piece. As opposed to trying to get a stopped or a fixed flow of motion, what I really like is the form mixed between these. And a funny thing happens when you start looking at this piece unconsciously, because as this stuff comes out in space, there are times when your left eye is seeing one image and your right eye is seeing another image. So you're really talking about a form in time as you're, as you're, you're experiencing and interpreting it. And again, I, um, I, my intention was not to try, you know, I wasn't looking for flesh tones or colors at all here. I just love the colors and the feeling of, of this, the blending of these colors, the connections through here.